Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. Um, today we are going to talk through how we can lock down a field in um, Business Central, okay? Uh, and just before we get into that though, um, I want to say hello to you guys. You can see me in the, the bottom of the video there. Uh, it's not normally something that I've uh, I've done for my videos before, um, but I've had a few people reach out on LinkedIn um, and uh, also to name one, uh, a good old friend of mine, um, Rico, thank you for, for reaching out. Um, but you guys have mentioned that I should put my face on uh, the video. So here I am. Lovely to meet you all. Uh, but also, guys, I can't I can't go ahead without saying um, thank you to my bro Jeeves uh, because he's the guy who has familiarised me with uh, this screen recording software, which um, is new to me. But uh, here we go. So thanks, guys. I really appreciate all of your feedback. Um, but on we go, guys, into uh, today's subject, which is locking down fields within Business Central, okay? Uh, and why would you want to do this? Well, I guess it sort of depends on your use case uh, within Business Central. I'm just going to give you an example of it and sort of this was released a while ago now. I don't remember exactly when. Perhaps I'll put that in the, uh, in the description. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just talk through how we can lock down editing of a field in um, Business Central, okay? Um, so I need to show you a few things first. Um, what uh, I'm going to show you first here is if I just jump into my settings, I want to show you that, look, I'm currently logged in with the role uh, business manager evaluation. OK, so that's the role that I'm currently logged into this business central environment with. And if I jump into my customer card um, in the customer card, the field that we'll be playing about with or locking um, editing on is the credit limit LCY. OK, so I guess um, this is one example, but you may have others that you want to lock down. Um, you can do this with permissions as well, strictly speaking, guys. But, you know, it's just a different way of, uh, of locking down a field other than using permissions. Um, so you can see right now, look, the uh, credit limit LCY field is editable. If I change that to a thousand, it's accepting the value there for me. OK, so uh, I won't show you my permissions on this environment, but I am a super user. I can change anything that I need to. So what we can do to lock down permissions is uh, I'm going to come to a page here called profiles and on the profiles page, um, obviously you can create your own profile and sort of figure out whichever way you want to you want to do this here. But I'm just going to modify the sales order processor profile. Bearing in mind, look, I had the business manager evaluation profile assigned, as I showed you at the top of the video. Uh, but I'm going to work with the sales order processor profile. Um, I'm going to highlight this one and I'm going to say customize pages. Okay, so. I won't go through in great detail what this does because we have another video for that one. Um, but what I will do is jump into my customers list here and I'm going to go into my customer card. And over here, I'm going to go to credit limit LCY and I'm going to say lock editing here. OK. And you can see now that is grayed out. So that's obviously within the customization mode, um, but that is now grayed out and that is literally it. OK, so I found my credit limit LCY field, the one that I wanted to lock down um, sort of editing on. Um, and I just click the red triangle and I can say lock or unlock editing on there. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and press done and close this tab down. And the next thing that I'm going to show you is. I'm going to go ahead into the um, profiles page for my user. So I'm going to change my profile to sales order processor. So let me do that. And BC will log me out and then back in. Uh, but once I'm logged back in, if I go into my customers here, I can go into a datum corporation 
And what we'll see here, look, is that I cannot now edit that credit limit LCY field, okay? Um, so it's locked down because we locked that via the profile. Um, so yeah, I guess one to be careful with guys, because if you want to lock this down for all users, you must make sure that all the profiles that these users use have this field locked down. So is it better to do it via um, permissions? Maybe depends on, on sort of how you want to do it there. Okay. Um, and just to show you there, guys, if I switched my profile back, obviously you wouldn't do this typically as a, as an end user. But let me switch my profile back to business manager evaluation there. And when it logs me back in, let's go into customers. Let's go into a Dayton corporation. And over here again, now look, that is an editable field. OK, so all we did there was we used customization within the profile to lock down editing of the credit limit LCY field. Um, and as I said, guys, one to be careful with, but useful, you know, if you if you wanted to, to lock particular fields down and you didn't want to do it via permissions. Um, but that's everything I wanted to show you. Thanks very much for watching there, guys, and uh, good, to, good to see you and uh, I'll see you on the next one.